Good evening. My name is Richard Albertson, and I'm the founder and president of Live the Life in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, during the last 12 years, uh, we have worked tirelessly on our mission to strengthen marriages and families. And as a result of bringing hundreds of uh, experts and uh, community partners together across the, the city, uh, our divorce rate in Leon County has dropped 29.6%. And our journey started about 16 years ago when this beautiful woman sitting at uh, table number six told me that if things did not change in our marriage, she wanted a divorce. She wanted out. And I thought we had a great marriage because I won every argument. And if she would just get with the program, we would have this fantastic marriage if she would just straighten up and do what I said. Uh, but I had a lot to learn about marriage. And I look back on that time now, and I'm very grateful for the tough lessons that we learned because there would be, we didn't have five children, uh, but if we had gone down that path of divorce, I don't want to even think about who I would be today, and uh, we have three less children in the world uh, than are here right now. So it's very humbling. And the good news is that we can help other couples to learn some of the lessons that we've learned, and that gave us the passion to start Live the Life and do this work so that other couples would not have to go through what we went through, and that they could have hope for healing in their marriage. We have seen couples literally divorce up, tear up their divorce papers in these classes. We've seen couples that were on the brink of divorce that said, you know what, this isn't right. And we help them learn the skills they need for communication, conflict resolution, and to find a better way. Many of you out there tonight would be excellent mentor couples. We would like to train you how to use your experience and your knowledge and what you've learned in marriage to help younger couples coming up and coming along the way. Many of, you would like to, many of you have probably never even gone to a marriage education class. And this is a great opportunity for you to learn some skills to strengthen your marriage. Every marriage needs a tune-up. There is no perfect marriage. And there's a lot of you out there that would benefit from having a stronger marriage, a happier marriage, and a healthier marriage. And then you can take that and not only bless your own family, but you can bless families in your community. And that's what we're all about. We're trying to take some of those lessons learned, some of those strategies we've learned over the years, and we want to not only just uh, have them in Tallahassee, but we want to re replicate them in other communities across the state of Florida. That's what it's all about. That's why we're part of this Strong Marriages Florida campaign. So far, we've conducted five marriage education training opportunities in uh, 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 different cities in Lakeland, Orlando, Bradenton. Uh, we're in Tallahassee. We've done what we're doing one in Miami next week. So we hope to keep expanding these training opportunities uh, to communities and churches all over Florida. I believe that the Florida Family Policy Council is the premier statewide organization for traditional family values. While most of us have busy lives and we're out in the world earning a living and raising our families, the Florida Family Policy Council is hard at work using good research, solid arguments, principled persuasion, and they're trying to make the case for a pro-life, pro-family, pro-marriage, and social conservative values in the legislature and in the public square. Because of the work of the Florida Family Policy Council, social conservatives, we have boots on the ground in Tallahassee. And we have it year round. We're building relationships with legislators. We're, we're working with key staff members and with government agencies and the news media. And our voice, your voice, is being heard. And we are making a difference. In addition to advocating these traditional values in government, the Florida Family Policy Council has launched this Strong Marriages Florida campaign. To, this is really a bold five-year campaign to create marriage movement statewide with the goal of strengthening marriages and reducing the divorce rate. The campaign was launched in response to the staggering number of divorces in Florida. I think we're the, we're the worst state in, Florida, in the country for recorded divorces. And also the family fragmentation, the economic collapse in our families, in our, in our society. So the Florida Family Policy uh, Council gets things done because it has excellent leadership, because it works hard, it never gives up, it staunchly defends our traditional values, and it has the support of friends like you. That's why it's able to do the work that it does. There is no other group in Florida doing this kind of work. Their work is unique, it's effective, and in order for us to have this better tomorrow in America, we need your help tonight to do this work. Now, many of you are aware of some of the victories you've seen up on the screen tonight talked about with the Florida Family Policy Council. Uh, they've won some great victories over the years, but I wonder how many of you in the audience know the true cost for these hard-won victories. 
In addition to su the successes we've had in, in these battles, what else has John Stenberger gotten in return for his investment, his substantial investment in time and resources? Well, he's had relentless attacks from organizations totally opposed to our worldview. Just in the last five years, he's been sued twice. He's grieved before the Florida bar two times. He's had elections commission's complaints filed against him. And he's re received so much hate mail, you would be appalled. I can, we can't even read aloud some of these letters that he's received. They're so vicious. His good name has been dragged through the mud. He has been slandered in ways that none of us can really imagine or appreciate. Did you know that there's actually a website dedicated to sl slandering John Stenberger and attacking him personally? How many of you like, would like to go home to your family, your wife and kids tonight, you know, and say, hey, kids, look at this great new website uh, dedicated to your dad? How would you like to do that? It opposes everything you believe, kids, uh, twisting everything you say. It falsely accuses you. And it spews hate and venom 24 hours a day, seven days a week to dear old dad. Hey, kids, I'd like to show it to you. These vicious and ruthless assaults from our opposition, this is a well-oiled machine. It's well-organized, it's well-funded, and it's relentless. I, for one, am deeply grateful to John Stenberger and his team for taking the heat because he stands up for you and he stands up for me and for the values that we all hold so dear. John Stenberger is an outstanding leader. He's a courageous leader. And we're fortunate to have him on our side, fighting our battles for our cause. Despite this withering criticism that would have caused lesser men to hang it up, John smiles, he maintains his cool composure, he refuses to give up, and he presses ahead as a happy warrior. This tells me a great deal about the character of my friend, John Stenberger. He's mature enough in his faith to know that these attacks are part of the job when you shine the light of Christ in a world and make a difference. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. While you and I are busy living our lives, John Stenberg and his team at the Florida Family Policy Council push back against this cultural tidal wave of divorce and broken homes and abortion. Every day they go on the offensive to educate and inspire our state to do better, to stand in the gap for traditional family values, to be the calm voice of reason amidst an increasingly dark culture that screams ever louder and demands to be heard. Far too many of our leaders in business and government, even the faith community, we've lost our way. And we've fallen victim to this cultural chaos that we're living in. We don't need more leaders who you know, stick their finger in the air and take the latest poll to decide which party best serves their personal interest, or how they can manipulate the system to keep their political career alive. Sadly, we have far too many leaders who are more interested in self-preservation than their core principles. We need more leaders, like the ones that you've seen here tonight in this room, leaders who have core principles and a clear vision. We need more leaders like John Stenberger. And these good leaders, folks, these good leaders need our support. John and his team cannot continue this work without our support. While the Florida Family Policy Council enjoys a relationship with Focus on the Family, they don't receive any funding from Focus, and so they have to raise their own operating support. So this vision that we have is not a sure thing. We really do need your support tonight. There is no guarantee that the Florida Fund Policy Council is going to be around, and we don't have an endowment fund. We don't have some secret major donor out there that underwrites our operations. We exist only because of the generosity of friends like you. So because we believe in this vision for tomorrow, we ask you to become our partner tonight to make this compelling vision a reality. If you believe in supporting leaders like John Stenberger, we ask you to please stand behind him and support the, the work. If you care about having boots on the ground in Tallahassee, 365 days a year, we want your help. If you believe in the Strong Marriages Florida campaign, step up and help us give these best tools available to your churches and your communities.